Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. Right, so I have no idea when this video will actually be uploaded, but right now it is Christmas Day and I've received a mystery present. I hope it sucks. Let's take a closer look. Alright, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure which model this is. If you guys have been watching, you know I've been super excited about the 2021 LTD models. They're one of my favorite import brands. The quality is always amazing. I love the modern takes on traditional shapes. The Eclipse is just straight up one of the best metal single cuts of all time. And now they're making them even better. The 2021 LTD is turning into the Oprah of stainless steel frets. You get stainless steel frets and you get stainless steel frets and you get stainless steel frets. Stainless steel frets for everyone. I mean, kind of not exactly just a thousand series or equivalent, which is still a lot. And especially in this thousand ish price range on import guitars, that's huge. This is a game changer. Anyways, as far as I know, this is the first 2021 LTD on YouTube outside of ESP's official channel, which is crazy. I don't know how this has happened where I get to preview a pre-production model from one of my favorite brands upcoming lineups. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty sick. I think someone must have messed up at ESP. And as I said, I'm not exactly sure which model this is. So let's find out together. Let's unbox this thing. Not gonna lie, the case might have been a little too big for the box, but you know what? I ain't even mad. I don't think 1000 series guitars come in a hard case, so the fact that they even shipped it in a hard case is sick. Well, I love ESP, they're homies. Oh my god, is that sick or what though? What do you think, Pringle? So if I recall correctly, this is what they're calling the tobacco burst. Satin flame, Fishman Fluence open core pickups, and it's the 1000T, which means... Full thickness, baby! Oh my god. God, this is a beautiful guitar. Like, that color works so well with the black hardware. This particular one made it world music in South Korea. LTD locking tuners with, like, the Godot-style tuning keys. Oh, and this is sick. Usually, what you'd do to make it easier is you'd get rid of the back binding if you wanted to have this little cutaway. But no, what they've done is kind of carved it. And you can see there's some color over it. I guess they didn't mask it properly, but it's still cool because you get the double binding with the set-through joint for comfortable upper fret access. Obviously, Fish and Fluence, you've got the multiple voice. Voices, so this is voice two or voice three. Got distracted because this looks amazing. Right, Brinkle. Makassar Ebony Fingerboard, and of course, what everyone's been waiting to see, the stainless steel frets. I don't know about you guys, these look pretty good to me. I mean, even with nickel frets, LTD always did like a great job polishing them, and uh, yeah. It's good. Now the shapes aren't exactly what you'd find in like an E2 or like an Ibanez Prestige. Like they don't have the super round ball ends, but like these edges are very smooth. And they're super reflective, like you can see my face on all the fret ends. Dang man, this is super cool. Yeah, I think Pringle likes it. <laughs> but I know you guys want to hear what it sounds like, so let's plug it in and get some tones. Okay, chug test. <laughs> I guess it's alright. This is the first time I'm trying the full thickness one, and I appreciate the chunkiness of the body. I think Kirk eventually learned that riff. Oh man, Eclipses are just one of the best modern single cuts. As expected, stainless steel frets, it feels amazing. Now you know I love Fish Influence, not only the clarity, but you can switch the voices. So I've been on the passive voice, let's switch to the hotter voice too for a second. <laughs> I need to practice more. There's also voice three, the single coil voice. You kind of get that telly twang. And 
the noise. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like voice one a lot. Or maybe voice two. I, I don't know. They're both good. Now, since this is the pre-production prototype, there are a couple of weird prototype -y things. The binding's kind of been beveled in one place on the headstock for no particular reason, especially near the higher frets, and I don't really play that much up here anyways, but the binding hasn't been rounded as you usually get on ESP 1000 series, so it feels kind of strange. <laughs> Also kind of strange is that the neck is really thin. It's noticeably thinner than my ESP standard Eclipse or the uh, Eclipse 87 NT that I demoed a while back. This is more like the extra thin U you get on shredders like the Kirk Hammett signatures. I've been told that the production versions will have the same thin U you get normally on EC1000s. It feels extra weird on this because it's got the full thickness body. So the neck joint feels unusually steep. Not bad, just unusual, since I'm used to the regular thin U shape on these types of guitars. Like, this reminds me less of my ESP Eclipse and more of, like, the Schechter Solo 2 Cusp. And again, this is a one-off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, these frets are insane. Stainless steel frets, Fishman Fluence open core pickups, on a full thickness single cut for about a thousand bucks. Made in Korea 2, this is insane. <laughs> I'm just in a very Metallica mood today. Like, even if you don't like the Fish Influence pickups, just swap them out because full thickness single cut stainless steel frets with this build quality, like without going the custom route, there are so few options. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, this is really fun. I still can't believe I get to try one of the new 2021 ESPs before they're even on store shelves. Look at us. Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> okay, uh, let's write a demo track. Now, when writing the demo tracks, I find it's best to do so with a clear mind when I'm not stressed about anything. If only there were a text message based service to help me out with that. Oh wait, there is. It's called Take Two Minutes and they just so happen to be the sponsor of this video. Yes, it's time to pay some bills and talk about Take Two Minutes. They're an amazing nonprofit dedicated to helping people dealing with stress or anxiety. They offer free services where you receive daily positive text messages as well as get access to other expert recommended activities and exercises backed by research designed to improve your happiness. They've even got sleep exercises, so hypothetically, if something stressful and anxiety-inducing that's making it harder to sleep is happening in the world right now, Take Two Minutes got you. They've also got this amazing merch line. You might have noticed I've worn this hoodie for, like, I think the last four videos in a row. I really like it, and also the message, be kind. They're a nonprofit, they don't make anything off the services, so merch is a great way to support them, and right now they're offering you guys a 15% discount on all merch if you use the code AGAFISH at checkout. But again, the main services are free. If you're ready to take your mental health seriously and improve your happiness, head on over to take2minutes.org or click the link in the description. But for now, we have some chugs to arrange into a demo track. So this guitar is the exact one used in the ESP Presents 2021 preview video announcing this model. In that video is being demoed by Dan Gailey, guitarist in Fit for a King. That's pretty awesome. He was the last person to have played this. So I think it'd be cool to write something in the style of Fit for a King. Let's listen to some of their stuff to get inspiration and try in the process not to get a copyright claim. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut a lot of that out because I don't want YouTube to come at me with the content ID hammer. But what I'm hearing on the rhythm side is a lot of low chugs. Awesome. There isn't too much architecty octave play. It's mostly lower frets. And they're like slow, down-picked, chunky chugs. Not a lot of the super intricate right-hand stuff you get with um, like Lamb of God, for example. Or something. They also love inserting a church bell for maximum epicness. Definitely asking Luke to do that. You know what I think the problem is? We're not low enough. They play in what sounds like drop A. This is currently in drop D. Now, I don't feel like changing the strings, setting it up for such a low tuning. So I'm just gonna use the Digitech drop. Put this in drop C. Anything further than two steps down, it starts sounding different. So uh, yeah, I think drop C is where we're gonna end up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, much better, and uh, I kind of really like that riff, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. That's gonna sound yeah, yeah. awesome with some church bells over it. Cool, one riff down. 
Let's move on to the next one. They also like a nice harmonized lead melody over big chords. Okay, so let's try something. Whoops. <laughs> I hate writing lead. Like, I have no idea what I want to do with this. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm sure when I harmonize it, it'll sound epic. Or it'll be sh We move. Very important, though, we gotta write a breakdown. Now, something I noticed they really like doing is having both guitars do, like, a little rhythm thing, and then one of the guitars drops out and does its own rhythm thing by itself. Whatever. It all makes sense in context. So I'm thinking during the build-up, both guitars would do... And then one guitar would do... I think this is the worst I've ever explained my thinking process. Now we gotta do like a slow breakdown riff. So... Nah. Maybe, uh, because they do add some triplets, so... And then the guitars can alternate or something. It's like my super technical way of describing songs. Hopefully once we add all the church bells and stuff, it'll sound epic. So I'll see you back here for the demo track.
Okay, so final thoughts. We'll take the prototypey things out of the equation for a second. This guitar is sick. The only reason I haven't owned an LTD EC1000 up until now is I had my ESP standard Eclipse. I didn't have a reason to own one of these, but this guitar slaps hard and it's got specs my Eclipse doesn't. Guitars like this remind me why I started playing in the first place. Just having fun. That's why I played so much Metallica, so much pop punk in the tone section. I mean, basically, if you're a fan of single cuts and looking for your next guitar, this should be right near the top of your list. I mean, as a very public simp for anything and everything single cut, I've been waiting for a reasonably priced full thickness model and a cool finish with an ebony fingerboard and stainless steel frets. And that's exactly what LTD has done here. I can't say enough about the stainless steel frets. Your fingers just slide across the fingerboard. It's effortless. And with the Fishman Fluence pickups, which are absolutely incredible, super clear, multiple voices. So it's like you've got three sets of pickups in one guitar. It basically just nailed the model that I've been waiting for. My only gripes are with this particular unit and its prototype peculiarities. The biggest being the extra thin U neck instead of a normal thin U that'll be in the production models. But even so, I mean, that's just personal preference. And after plugging it into the Angle Savage and hearing it absolutely roar, it was like, well, is that really that big of a deal? I mean, kind of, neck shape matters. But <laughs> glass half full, this is a unique one-off. Yeah, I love it and that's it. That's the final thought. Massive thanks to ESP for sending this model out and entrusting me with it. If you want to hear more about this guitar, the rest of ESP's 2021 lineup, make sure to tune in to the ESP Presents 2021 live stream. It'll be right on the homepage of their website. There's a ton more cool stuff, including the Arctic Metal series and a reissue of Kirk Hammett's Cage 3 Spider with some special upgrades for the 30th anniversary of the Black Album. God, that guitar is so f***ing cool. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. These, of course, just my opinions. I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, turn on notifications, that way you don't miss any new uploads. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.